what's up welcome back to another video my name is Caitlin and today's video is going to be a vlog so I'm not exactly sure what this vlog is going to entail as of right this instant because right now it is January 10th and um, I'm just gonna share with you basically we'll get right into it hold on I'm gonna go the camera prop it up hold on okay so story time Mitch and I, Mitch is my husband, if you're new or you don't know me, um, Mitch is my husband and we bought a home in Nashville, Tennessee. So after college graduation, we moved to Nashville and within like a few months of being down there, we ended up purchasing a home in hopes that we would one day eventually rent out this home. And uh, when the pandemic hit, we were really missing our family. We're really missing just being close to family. And so we decided to move to Cleveland for the time being. Um, not sure if this is where we're gonna stay. We decided to stop planning because we told ourselves that we would never move back to Cleveland, yet here we are. So um, just, we're going literally like lease by lease and just kind of seeing what is going on, um, where we're at. What we want to do, we have no idea. So um, we decided to keep the home. This was like a whole thing. We were going back and forth forever. Do we keep the home? Do we rent it out? Like what do we do? It was our first house we ever bought. We had bought it with the intention of renting it out, but our thoughts were that when we would rent it out, we would be living in Nashville, not living in Cleveland. So we eventually decided that we should rent out the home. And we did, we found tenants and they moved in. And in November, she lost her job due to COVID. And so they couldn't afford to rent the house anymore. And so we terminated the lease and effective January. So after the new year, Mitch went down. And as of today, he's been down there for um, almost a week now. It'll be a week on Monday. So tomorrow it'll be a week. And the floors needed replaced. And so he is down there where we're at right now is he went and found somebody who can lay the floors but he said to save money you should probably rip them up yourself and so him and our friend todd who mitch is staying with thankfully when he's down there are ripping up the floors and so they just actually finished today and i i had him like vlog the process of him being down there so he has his old iphone 8 and so i don't know how well the camera footage is going to be so um like the quality of the footage so just it's not going to be the same quality as what i'm filming on right now but um i had him vlog that and so they just finished ripping up the floors i think that we found floors that we're going to get i'm not 100 percent sure and so we're trying to pick that out and do it at an affordable cost but at the same time we don't want it to be like too cheap so mitch is going to work with our general contractor and he's going to see he's going to ask him like what what his thoughts are um so I'll, I'll like make sure I vlog when we're picking out the floors and I'll tell you exactly what we decide to pick out. Um, and so we have to purchase those soon because he is going to be starting on the floors on Wednesday. And so um, yeah, that is the update so far. I don't know what footage that I'm gonna be showing you. I might pop back in here to explain kind of what's going on. I don't even, I haven't even seen the videos that he's taken yet and I'm not gonna post this until the floors are obviously done because I wanna like round out the videos showing you what the new floors look like. So, um, yeah, <laughs> see, talk to you soon. <laughs> I am Amos. All right, so this is one of our rental property, or I guess our only rental property that we have here in Nashville, Tennessee. And if any of you want to get into landlording, I just want to give you a real view of what can happen. They can come in and really hurt your house. And so my buddy Todd and I are about to pull up all these floors and we're going to refloor the house. So stick with us on this little journey and I'm gonna show you before and I'll show you while we're while we're pulling up the hardwoods and the carpet so you can see kind of what it's gonna look like I'll show you upstairs it's all destroyed all the carpet is is pretty bad off so we're gonna pull it up put down laminate flooring through the whole house it's gonna look a lot nicer um, it's gonna make the house feel bigger and it's gonna make it feel cleaner but it's not a fun thing to have to do so Hoping to give you guys a reality check if you're considering getting into landlording. So I'll be back soon and I'll show you guys 
what it looks like with some or all of it pulled up. All right, so here's what we look like mid project. Haven't started on the hardwoods yet, but we're getting all the carpet torn out. It's crazy. We still gotta pull these guys to hold the carpet down up. But I'll tell you what, for buying our first house and making it a home and then, you know, seeing it the way that we had it to this, it's actually kind of cool. You know, it's unfortunate that we've got to do it, but it's pretty cool to see what we're able to do to it. So, yeah, yeah there's Toddy. Yeah. Pulling up some carpet, plywood up there. And now I'm gonna go get started. All right, so we realized that taking out the hardwood was a little bit more difficult than we had anticipated. We had a little handheld crowbar and a hammer, and that was gonna take us a long time. So we went to Lowe's. First, we dumped all the carpet, took it to the dump, got rid of it, so that's all out of the house. And we went to Lowe's and got real crowbars, and now we're gonna go do some real damage on the hardwoods, take them out, so I'll show you when it's done. All right, we're getting ready to bust up the floor right now. We started a little bit, but uh, basically gonna, gonna take it out here and see how it goes. So I thought it was time for a quick video update because hardwood's quite a bit harder than carpet is. My hand is taped up from busting a bad blister off and it's not feeling great. So I'm gonna give you a look at what we have, but whew, it's tough. I'll flip it on you in a minute. <laughs> We're back for day two. We're ready to finish up these hardwood floors and we brought a heater today. We brought drinks today. We're far more prepared than we were yesterday, but check out my hands because man, did I pay for it. Holy crap, my hands hurt really bad. But I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with and we're gonna get started. <laughs> You can see quite a bit of demo cleanup to do. The island is moved, the stove is moved, we got a whole bunch of hardwood that we're gonna try to get some crazy guy to come take out of the house and use for some harebrained project that he's got going on. And I only say it that way because my experience on Marketplace, Craigslist, and all that is that people will take anything to do some funny projects. This is not usable. It's bad, broken, splintered, but we'll see. So I'm just giving you a picture of the whole house and you know, this is what it's gonna look like. And Tuesday night, me and some buddies, we're gonna come back in. Sorry, I know I'm shaking. We're gonna come back in and we are going to <laughs> do quite the cleanup. So I'm gonna get some trash bins. Look, it's all, all gone. I don't think I've toured you guys through the rest of the house yet, which is kind of crazy. So. You know, we got all of the carpet out, everything. We left the bathroom because it's actually in still decent shape. So leaving that, it is all out. It's, uh, it's kind of wild. I know I've said it in other parts of the video, but you know, it's wild to see the house you bought and the house that you're now unexpectedly renovating. So this is what we got. And uh, we'll see you uh, Tuesday night when we start demo cleanup. All right, so I forgot to let you know that we were here and getting started on the demo cleanup, but my friend Justin was nice enough to come down and help us 
clean up the house. And so we got a lot done. It looks a lot different. Unfortunately, the guy who was supposed to come get the hardwoods didn't show up tonight, so we're gonna try and get rid of those again tomorrow. But I'm gonna show you the house. It's way cleaner and looks way different, so take a look. Got all the hardwoods over here. Everything's stocked up into this front room so that whoever comes and gets them can just take it. And then look at this. Pretty close to ready to lay the laminate down. It's kind of crazy. I got a few more things to touch up tomorrow. Sorry, I'm shaking, but um, got everything up and we are ready to rock and roll. I'm excited. I think it's gonna look really good. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna touch up the last few things. I'll bring you guys along, and then I'll be updating you guys on the floor. I'll be excited. Okay, so now today is. January 13th and I know I updated you on the flooring but we have ordered our floor and, and so I wanted to show it to you um, so I'll put some pictures on the screen of our home and before we moved I had planned on painting the cabinets and then we just never got to it and so the cabinets I really hate the color of the cabinets I bought white paint to paint them but since I hadn't painted them, I was kind of limited on the color of flooring that I could choose. And so I really wanted to go for a dark wood. And um, I think that the dark wood will look really good against the white walls that we have in the home. And then also it will look good with that like yellowy cabinets that we have right now. So this is what we decided. Um, let's see, I'll show you this up close. We went with laminate because this is a rental property and so we didn't want to spend too much money on the floors and so it is laminate and then here's kind of what it looks like overall as a whole. I think it's going to look really good because eventually I will paint, I will have the cabinets painted white and so I think that this color is going to look really nice. I'm super excited. So today is the 13th and Mitch is cleaning up the rest of the house tonight. And then um, the guy is going to be starting on the floors tomorrow and it should take him probably about a week or so. We found like a retired general contractor and he's gonna do it himself and so it's gonna take a little bit longer than it would if we had hired a company but it's way more affordable and so that's fine because we're gonna be saving money. And so um, yeah, he's picking up some of the flooring today. He's picking up the stair nosings. There's just like a ton of stuff that I just had no idea when you replace floors. Like it's not just buying the floors, it's buying like all of this other stuff to go along with it. So um, yeah, it's been quite the journey. And also it's been really hard to find flooring that is in stock that we can like pick up from the store right away. So that's been difficult. So yeah, that's the update. I um, will have him vlog more of what he's doing because obviously there's not really much I can do from here. So besides just update you on what I know is going on. So um, yeah, he's gonna go down tonight and I'll tell him to make sure to vlog when he goes and show us everything. So I'm excited, I'm really excited to see the house and I think it's gonna look really good. Um, our poor little home needs a little I'm excited. All right, so I have another update for you on the house. Mitch sent me photos because our contractor has laid the flooring and I was so anxious about this flooring, but seriously, it looks so good. I'll post some of the photos. He only sent two, so I'll post the two photos that I have right here. But I'm so excited. I'll just kind of show you the color and this bedroom. I hated the color of this bedroom, it was like purple. But laying these floors makes it look more of a gray. So that's amazing because I hate the color of that room. Not that it matters because we're not living there, but um, it still is our house and I still wanna take care of it, obviously. So I'm very happy with how the floors came out. I'm super excited. Um, he has some showings scheduled, so that's exciting. Someone's coming this weekend, someone's coming next weekend and um, he should have the floors done like next week. So everything is coming along. Mitch is gonna go start cleaning up the place tomorrow. So um, I'll have him get some video when he's there, but I'm super, super happy with how everything is turning out so far.